Hello everyone, it's Nell Louise here and um, sorry for the delay in my videos, my blogs that have been taking so long, been a busy year, crazy 2018, I have not had the best year this year of 2018 and I'm glad it's officially over with and it's 2019 coming in right around the corner. Um, I would use to call my blogs talk Nella Louise, but now it's gonna be called Nella Sauce. Basically, put on my own little flavor on different topics, subjects to talk about that you guys want me to talk about or want to hear my opinion about. Um, definitely gonna do things different this year with my blogs because I am gonna have people actually literally on here talking that you can hear them actually ask me the questions that they want to know and the things that they want to know my opinion on what I think or what I, what I do in their situation or what I have already done. Um, this year has been rough for me, um, 2018, because it just has been a lot of negativity, a lot of things, circumstances that have happened that I have been unexplainable has been very unexplainable to explain um of why it was happening and you know a lot of times i blame myself blame other people blame god you know and i just had to come to grips that, that it's life you know that it's nobody else or nothing that i done wrong it's just life and what you expect because i try to be the best person i can be and honest to people and open to people as much as possible but you know sometimes things happen in life and um to try to like throw you off of that good path that you're trying to stay on you know temptations and people and different things trying to throw you off and you know you just gotta stay true to yourself and try to stay strong and um i have always known that you know having children was going to be um, difficult for me once I got shot, you know, when the bullet was still in my liver, um, you know, the doctor kind of explained to me that, you know, when having kids, it might be a little bit difficult because your liver is covered up with a bullet and then, you know, you need your liver to break down foods and give certain nutrients to a baby, including yourself, to keep your immune system, your system up and running well. But my liver moves a little bit slower, you know, when it comes to being pregnant, actually um, being able to do those functions and stuff because of that bullet being in there and I can't get taken out because I bleed to death in a matter of seconds. Um, a lot of people um, don't know uh, why I have this bullet, why did I get shot, and um, it's because my ex-boyfriend did shoot me. Um, I haven't talked too much about it, um, touch it here and there, but I never went in detail in explaining it, but that's going to be another blog for you guys to check out and to hear my story about me getting shot by my ex-boyfriend. Um, but back to the topic, um, the reason I got the tattoo of the broken angel, um, with her hair down and the wings is because of the miscarriage that I recently had, um. It's um, very heartbreaking, you know, and what makes it so worse is not only does, is it difficult for me to have children with that liver, with the bullet inside my liver, it's even more challenging because miscarriages runs in my family a lot. My grandmother had seven miscarriages before she actually had her first child. Mom had a couple, my cousins, my sisters had a couple. It's just, it runs in our family before we actually had children, which is the sad part, and it's very heartbreaking you know to deal with stuff like that um when it recently happened to me you know i felt a lot of emotion i was very depressed um i didn't want to eat too much talk to nobody um i had little mood swings sometimes you know and um i just blamed everybody myself including including god and including people i just blamed anybody that had any part to do with me you know other people and I, I blame God you know to why this had to happen to me and I had to come to the realization that you know it's life it's the cars we dealt and you know we gotta 
take the punches and roll with them and just keep going because everything is not going to go perfectly you know it's not meant to be like that in this life you know so it's like I had to just be like you know trust God and be like hey you know it just wasn't the right time for me to have a baby you know God wasn't ready for me to have a baby right now even though I may feel like I'm ready it must must be things that I have to do and to get to that point before I can have one you know and when that time is right I know God will bless me with one you know and um I really took me some months to get out that depression because you know for one I didn't have the support from my family and people around me because I didn't want to talk about it as much I didn't want to talk to my you know boyfriend at the time about it because I was like he not gonna understand he probably don't believe me he probably this he probably that he don't care he don't believe me he's not gonna be there he's a man so he's not gonna be as sensitive and as emotional and it's not gonna touch him as much as it touched me you know I just felt so many different emotions that really bothered me and I just felt lonely and depressed and hurt you know and it just took me a minute to get out of that, you know. It's kind of hard for me to talk about it without getting emotional. And, you know, I don't like to cry in front of people, especially not cameras. But I, it's just a lot, you know. And it needs to be talked about because people don't, women, feel like nobody's going to understand them or where they're coming from. Or feel the things that they feel when they go through stuff but it's a natural thing things happen and people need to know they got support from other people about these things you know because there's a lot of people that, that can't have children and it's a lot of people that can't you know and you know it hurts me worse when I see on the news about how these mothers are killing their babies and kids and it just hurts, you know, or losing their kids, get money and do some fraud stuff. Just it just bothers me because it's like those are the people most time, not all the time, but sometimes those are the people that get kids easily is the people that are not responsible and so loving to their kids and do certain things, using them to get like money and just advantages and stuff like that they take advantage of having kids and that's just not something to take advantage of because everybody can't have kids everybody can't have those times to be with somebody that's okay from them you know that's their bloodline that's gonna love them and that's gonna grow old with them and that you're gonna watch all the way from you birthing them literally to them being adults and being successful and just going about their life you know and it those moments and things you can't take back and you have to cherish them you know especially with everybody that who can't have kids or it's difficult for them to have kids you know and um it's just it's a lot it's a lot to take in it was a lot for me to pretty much take in but you know you, you take every day at a time, you push for it, you can stay positive, you continue to pray, you know. Back in the day, I was reading about how women used to go to these salons and stuff like that. And it wasn't just for so much hair back in the day, but it was for people to actually be able to, um, women get together to communicate and help each other through these struggles, fellowship with each other, you know, unite and just be one, you know, talk about things that they can talk to their husbands and all different things like that about. And it was just so awesome to see, like, how even though we had so much triumph and problems back in the day with our ancestors and stuff, it was awesome to see how people can still come together with all those problems that was going on, women especially, and be united and talk. You know, it probably wasn't perfect, but they made the most out of it. They made sure they came together to communicate and be there for each other, you know, and it's changed now because it's not like that with women. You know, a lot of women don't like to come together, like to be jealous of each other. They don't they want to paint this perfect picture of themselves to make others feel bad about themselves and to make them feel good about themselves you know they like to down other females and think it's a competition and it's not you know us as women we are strong and we do great things in this world and we have for a long time for decades 
before us, you know, and it's, it hurts to see that we're not like like that, even though it was problems back then, it's, it's like now it's even worse because we can't even come together as one without some bad apples in the midst that want to throw a sword in the game, get people arguing and fighting and competition and jealousy. And it's just like, you know, we can do so much as if we were together, if we were one. And it, it, it sucks, you know, and that's what made me feel even more depressed and lonely because I'm like, wow, I felt like I had nobody to turn to when this miscarriage happened. And it should never be like that. You should never feel alone and feel like you can't turn to somebody, especially if you're a woman. You should be able to turn to another woman, you know, and, you know, sometimes it's the way the world society shape us to be that way, because when you grow up in the inner cities like me that don't have a lot and it's not a and you grow up in these communities where it's not unity and stuff you know they make you be this hard to person that think you have to deal with stuff by yourself because of the world and how people treat people and do people wrong you be scared you're gonna be next and you think that people are gonna do the same to you so you hold tight to your struggles and how you feel because you feel like people are gonna do you wrong but we have to break that that mindset, that mentality of being lonely and feeling like people's gonna continue to hurt us because love is what's gonna keep us and what's gonna bring us together. And um, until then, until we get to that point, we all have to do some self evaluations and things. We need a chance to get to that point, you know? So, you know, I take my struggle as this mixed carriage as a way for me to be able to be great to other children and to help other children and even in my family because I can't just help other children and other people and not help in my circle, in my family, you know. I do what I can and reach out and be as loving and friendly as I can to my family too as well as other people's family, you know, because I would want people to do the same to my family if they run into them, stranger or no stranger. So. It's like, we just got to stay strong. We got to stay together. We got to work together. You know, it's a hard time, you know, with the, the changes in my body from that happening to me. It was just a lot, you know. And, you know, I plan on 2019 being a better year. Happy New Year to everybody, you know. I just want to say going into this year, just try to be the better person you could be not just for yourself but for other people help people love people do generous things but let's not just do this because it's the holiday because it's new year's because it's christmas let's do it every day you shouldn't have to just be nice to people on the holidays or their birthdays or whatever let's encourage and be nice and strengthen people all the time because that's what make us stronger that's what help us grow as a whole as one and bring more love and decrease all the other things and the negative things and the violent and bad things from happening so let's be that better person to others as you would to yourself for this new year you know and not just because it's a birthday or a holiday i just want to say happy new year to everyone if you have any questions to ask me about how i got through my miscarriage my struggle anything I don't mind opening up talking to you about any of it. Um, you know, you can always find me on Instagram, Nella two underscores Louise. Um, that's on the social media I do have besides YouTube or um, music stations. But um, you can also comment on here on my YouTube videos. I do check them myself. That's something I do check myself that um, I don't let nobody else check, you know. And, um... Uh, yeah, I would love to hear feedback from everyone about how they feel, what they think. I appreciate everyone that's watching. Happy New Year to you. I pray for much success and blessings to everyone your way. I wish nothing bad on anybody, not even my worst enemy. Um, yeah, I just want to start a new year fresh, my right. Can't say a positive thing from this situation happening with my miscarriages that it helped me to grow up to be a better person and to appreciate life more and appreciate people more and be nicer to people and help people more you know and not just always think about myself think about other people too you know you know i've always been that way but you know 
you know, I'm even harder on myself. And um, I've always been that way, but now I'm even more, I'm doing it even more. And not just, you know, in certain times of the year, certain days, I'm making sure that I do it even more on myself. Be on myself even more with doing it. So, I just want to say Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you for watching. I love all you guys. I wish all you guys the best of success and love, peace, happiness, joy. And many, many blessings to come in long life. Um, just please comment. Please check me out. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. If you want to talk to me on Instagram, you can always comment. Don't check DMs because I have a million of them. But you can always um, comment on some of my pictures or my posts if you want to. And my Instagram is again, Nella, under, two underscores, Louise. Um, that's the only social media I have. Or you could comment down here on YouTube and let me know what you think, how you feel, what topics you want to hear me talk about, any questions you have, if you want to know my opinion on something. Just let me know. I'll respond to any of it. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. You just don't know the bottom of my heart. And all the supporters out there that support my music, my videos, my blogs. Thank you. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Like, I really do. Genuinely. I don't get to say a lot, but I don't get to say a lot, but I, I really mean it. Like, I'm on the bottom of my soul. Thank you. I love you guys. Blessings. Peace. Love. See you all on the next Tuesday that I post another video talking about everything and different topics and relationships, me getting shot, just a lot of different things. So, happy new year to you guys. See you guys later. Love you guys. Blessings. See you.